Welcome back. We're in search through this strange dungeon that's underground the stupa. Yes. In search of a girl with pink hair. Who was playing hide and seek apparently. Donna, where have you wandered off to this time? Oh, how did you know? Well, you've been gone for a while. I'm running out of excuses for you. Oh, sorry. Don't worry. I'll take care of this quickly. Just got there in time, I feel. Are you done your conversation yet? Yeah, I can see that swirly thing up ahead. No, I've run out of blue stuff. Yes, peas. get a few of these things dead, because not really had a chance to level up. This thing is really, like, what is that up ahead? I mean, there's there's the shop. You're going to appear everywhere, then. Uh, we can get some rest. Welcome! Welcome! I should buy another one of them, just in case. You. So I could go that way, but what's... Hmm... This looks like a boss room. Uh, so many worrying things. Like, which, like, that's just, what, I, hmm. Okay. Hey. Why can't I? What do I need? There's gonna be some item we get later. Because we do have, like, essence equipment here, so I'm assuming we're gonna get something. Probably from a boss up ahead. We can get some Some kind of divine knight? Azure dragon armor. And this must be the guardian of the sanctuary. That little girl wanted in here. She could be in danger. Forgive me, but I must defeat you. So let's unleash this straight away. It's level 46. Definitely feeling Tokyo Xanado. Xanado? Yeah, Xanadu vibes with this place right now. Well, I suppose it's more the way around, but you, you know what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. Just gotta be wary of what you're doing. I say that I get hit. Like, what? what? No, mate. No. That's just not on, mate. I like that one. Let's gonna do that. So we rolled into it. Oh, come on. Hey, the second I get up, is that a go? May as well take advantage of that at that same time, aren't I? What's going on here? Right 
There we go. I like that. That was fun. Again, remind me of Tokyo Zandu. In all the good ways, you know. Hello, hello. Do it. Wheel of Eternity. Stone Duration. Hmm. An ancient ring of intermediate origin. Interment in, in the, you know. It, it seems to possess a mysterious power. Indeterminate. Wait, could that be? Indeterminate. Go around it. Nope. An archival monolith. It looks quite old, too. Hmm. I wonder how long this has been here. It still works. Impressive. What is this? In the beginning was the Sage. The Sage, a wise man of enduring intelligence, embarked on a journey, a long journey, when he discovered a colossal tree. Seating himself at the foot of the tree, the Sage began to meditate, and in his trance a mysterious power was revealed to him. The Sage could read the wind as easily as a bird, achieve mastery over the elements of fire and water. He could even see future events yet to occur in distant lands. The sage had tapped into the power which had governed the very laws of nature, and he saw fit to call it essence. When the sage returned to his homeland, he used essence to drive out the Saurians that threatened his people. Freed from the threat that had plagued them for so long, he had finally come to the sage's homeland. The people honored the sage, learned from him the art of essence, and with it achieved untold prosperity. With his newfound influence, the sage assembled his people and established a nation. So it was and that his radiance, Light King Alchia, became the first king of Eternia. Eternia? This account seems slightly different from the story we were told as children. I thought the Light King came from an area near the Great Tree. <laughs> Which version of events is true, I wonder? Huh? Don't they say facts are often stranger than fiction? I certainly think that's true. Yep, yep. Lady. Creepy. Did Sia send you to come find me? Io? Low? I think it's Io. It'd have a bit at the bottom if it was an L. You. You must be the girl who was playing hide and seek. <sighs> he finally found you. <laughs> found me? No, I just came out of hiding for you. You must be pretty good to make it all the way here. But that's still not good enough to catch me! So you must be Eo. Eo? Alright. I feel like I've met her somewhere before. Mm-hmm. She's been around. <clears throat> I know you're playing hide and seek, but you still shouldn't have come in here. Come along. I'll take you back home. Huh? Nah. I want to play some more. But, if you're gonna be all pushy about it, then I guess I'll go with you. Mm-hmm. Today's gonna be so much fun! On second thought... No, wait. That would be best, since I need to get her out of here. But afterward, I need to check the spot where I saw that swordsman. Well, aren't you thinking super hard about something? <laughs> <laughs> well, regardless... We have to go back up to the surface. Stay close and follow me, Eo. Hold 
on a sec. Say, what do you suppose that is over there? A door? Don't you want to check it out? <laughs> Let's take a closer look at it before we go back. Honestly, Eo, I guess I'm a little curious about it too. This sanctuary might run deeper than I thought. <clears throat> Just a quick look, okay? But even if there is more to this place, I'm only taking you as far as that door. Yay! Let's go! She's very mischievous. Diana places her hand on the door. But the door is shut tight and will not budge. Ah, Fooey. Yo, may be cute, but she is quite odd for a little girl. Look at the, these words engraved in the door. They are written in Old Eternian. Only the virtuous may enter. Ah, huh, I wonder what that means. <laughs> I'm not sure either. Maybe it will only open under the right conditions. Anyway, I'm sorry, but this is as far as we, we're going. Let's get out of here. Mia is worried about you. Ah, you're right. Okay, let's go back. Dana's virtue. Increasing Dana's virtue will open the doors within the sanctuary crypt, allowing access to the next floor. If a door will not open, gain virtue by completing a turning quest or rescuing spirits trapped in essence rips. Okay, cool. It's just that question of like, how much do we need for that door to open? And so Dana and Io return to the girls who, by this point, had grown tired of waiting. Bad at hide and seek. <laughs> Looks like I'm the champion today. Uh, I'm gonna challenge you again tomorrow. Come on, you guys. You both really worried me. I was this close to getting the guards to go look for you. Okay, okay. Sorry, I got a little carried away. I didn't think it'd end up being such a big deal. <laughs> Still, you're lucky to have people who worry about you. Don't ever forget that. Maiden. Yeah. Mia, don't cause too much trouble for Sia. Always be nice to her, okay? <laughs> yep, I will. I definitely learned my lesson this time. From now on, the only time I'll make Sia cry is when I tell her scary stories about the Requiem Festival. M Mia? Okay, then I'll tell you the scariest story I know. Hmm. It's an ancient story about an immortal guardian. Please do tell me more. Uh, stop it, you guys! <laughs> Thanks for today, Maiden. Here, take this. It's treasure that me and Sia found. Rimflower. Are you sure? Isn't this important? It's okay, really. Right, Sia? Yes. If we look together, I'm sure we can find more of them. Okay. Then I'm happy to accept this. Thank you, Mia and Sia. <laughs> no problem. Thanks for looking out for us. Okay, we're gonna go back to our mom. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. <laughs> we did it. Indeed we did. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Twin sisters. How heartwarming. Now then, Eo. I think it would be best if you went straight home. Do you need me to escort you? Hm. I'm not that little, you know. Besides, I'm in the middle of looking for something. Looking for something? I can help you if you'd like. Hmm, that's okay. I've been looking for it for a while now, but... I think I've nearly found it. Is that so? I'm not sure I understand, but... Can you at least promise you'll go home before it gets dark? Yep, yep, I will. I think I'll just wander around this area for a bit. You don't need to worry about me. Okay, I promise I won't worry. Now then, I need to head to the crystal near the temple. Adol, wait for me. In my vision, that bridge up ahead has fallen. In that case... Ah, so we need to plant a tree sapling here. 
so it build a new bridge for us. The crystal is emitting a mysterious light. Do you plant a prayer tree sapling? Yes, of course. Please open a path for Adel. Well, that seems like it would do the trick then, doesn't it? Are you okay, Adel? Hmm. Oh, it sort of repaired the bridge. Oh, oh this is incredible. It's almost like the tree is always trying to prevent the bridge from collapsing. Now we can keep going. One thing to hear you guys describe this, but it's another thing entirely to actually see it. That all explained that Donna is deliberately trying to help them. Could that really be true? That must mean she's aware of Adol's actions, too. Either way, now we can move on. Yes, let's go to the Temple of the Great Tree. Sharing your consciousness with Donna. Donna's actions will affect Adol's era. Perhaps might cross or the landscape might change. You still switch to Donna by touching a crystal even after her event is over. When I checked the map after that point, I did notice there was actually two new question marks, though, on the map. So I kind of want to investigate this one here, which is at the end of this area here, which seems to be this little campsite-y thing. Oh, there's something there. Remnants of a campfire, and the ashes are still smoldering. Hmm. Doesn't seem like Thanatos made this one. Could belong to a castaway that we haven't found yet. Is the fire starter nearby? Yes, that seems highly likely. Let's try searching the area. Alright, looks like we found someone. You reckon that's the fire starter? I believe so. She appears to be much older than I expected. Oh my, I finally come across some other people. Were you all passengers on the Lombardia? Adol told the old lady everything that had happened since the ship was attacked. So we're on the Isle of Siren, I see. How did you survive here? There's dinosaurs. Despite all that's happened, it sounds like escape is within our reach. <laughs> what a delightful turn of events this is. Yes, so please don't worry about a thing. It's dangerous to be here alone. Works. We should come with us to the village. Look out. Yes, yeah, like, the, 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 the dinosaurs, is she going to kill it? Huh? A beast! Don't worry. I'll take care of this. What does that mean? Awesome. This is the thing, it's like, how did you survive here? How? It's like, you had to, you had to have the capability. God, I love her so much. <laughs> that ought to do it. Rejoice, everyone, for tonight we feast. Thanks for the meal. <laughs> Impeccable manners, young man. I love her. Perhaps I should formally introduce myself. My name is Sylvia. All right, all right. I was once a gladiator who last fought in the Roman Colosseum ten years ago. Pleased to meet you all. Sylvia. Look at those scars, though. Colosseum gladiator. No wonder you're so strong. <laughs> Well, you're certainly a fearsome old bird. The way her silver hair flaps like a pair of wings as she swings that enormous blade must be the silver-haired hawk. Oh. You've heard of me. Everyone has heard of the silver-haired hawk, the undefeated champion of the Colosseum. You're a legend among gladiators. You remind me of my of, of master. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Now then. I think I'd like to join uh, this village of yours. Please join the group, join the group. I'll make my way there right now. You guys be careful. I, I mean, she's awesome.
Aha, uh -huh. so our next question mark is that door that's now opened. Ooh, a treasure chest. Indeed. Ooh. Heavy quartets, not bad. No, I expected a bit more from that, to be honest. Yeah. Alright, back to the bridge then. This is very rickety. <laughs> is rickety the right word there? It's not, is it? It's not the right word. You, you know what I'm getting at, though. What is this building, Father? It's the mountain gate that leads to the temple. The people here must have worshipped that big tree, just like Adol said. This appears to be an altar. Hmm, I suppose it could also represent the, like, the tree growing as well. Think about the idea of that looking similar to other things that we know from our world, at least. Just want to try going this way. Unless this is the right way. I, I doubt it, though. It's engraved door, it's shut tight. It can't be opened by force. So is this going to open up the other way where we've already been? I think it is, isn't it? The engraved door is shut tight. It can't be opened by force. Oh. I was hoping, because like, clearly that's a place, like, the other side of there is where we've been. Thought maybe we could go back, but nope. Oh my. Looks like part of the tree hasn't rendered, though, at the bottom. Temple of the Great Tree. We could see this from Gendarm, but now it's right here in front of us. But this old place was a thing of beauty back in its heyday. It's so quiet here. Hmm. This place is likely a nesting ground for beasts and primordials. And if that tree behind the temple is the Great Tree of Origins. All right. Let's get a closer look. I was just thinking there's a lot more symbolism to this as well. Because that idea of like, it's like two vines. I mean, it's technically one because you see them connect to the bottom, but it's two paths converging at different points. A bit like Adel and Dana in their timelines. We just have to see which one is the right one in all of this. It could be all of them at the same time. Hello. Get away. Get away. I went all the way back there to, to, to get that symbol so I could show you what I meant. And they come in here and there's actually loads of them, isn't there? I mean, at least that one had the, the glowy look to it, the, the gold look to it. This, this one's just like, yeah, sort of dilapidated. Very, very Zelda-esque at the moment, very much. Destroy all the boxes in sight. You just hit me and then bounce off me. Like, what? What happened there? I don't know. Button then. Some of the technology still works. The door opened on its own. What a strange mechanism. I wonder how it functions. Okay, there's a hole there. Is, is this the way I'm meant to be going then? Because then it's sort of like... You know me, I go the wrong way first. Because I want to see... Can I not just... Pull that off and go inside. Don't know. Yeah, I, I don't want to miss like side stuff if I can in these kind of places. I'm assuming I need to get through there. Okay. Although I can always revisit later on. It, it seems to be a, a very much a factor in this game based on everything we've done so far. So I probably would have been fine, but just a bit twitchy with these places. I don't know why. I wonder what this room was for. I have no idea, but that hole we used to get in here seemed like a hidden door. Hmm. This room seems familiar. Why would you need a hidden door? Why would you need a hidden door? Layers of dust cover the faded altar. 
the remains of a dilapidated bed. It looks somehow familiar. Hmm, we'll go this way first. Although, hmm. You can what? Relax? Faintly relax. Oh, I've just got something in my eye. That's not good. Ow. Scratchy. Hello. What are you even? Rat. Rat. Nalard. Rat. Nalard? Ancient hide. That was very hard to get previously. Use items and deconstruct them and stuff. Okay, okay, okay. So I need to get the other side, alright. I, I didn't say put your sword away. I said open the door. You can do that at the same time as... What are you doing, Adon? That's not what I was telling you to do at all. Leave you be now. Is it already open? It's already open. Hmm. Is that we should have the option to go into some of these rooms. In the past, sure, because it's sort of like, you know, respect people's privacy, but they're dead. They're dead at this point in time, so... Oh, that is so coming to life, isn't it? That is so coming to life. I would go back and rest up, but I don't need to, really. Hello? Hmm. Hmm. Check out this weird-looking statue. The strength its form exudes is quite palpable. Still... This is an odd spot to erect a statue. Isn't it just? What's happening? It's a moving statue! I read about that in a book once! Yay! <laughs> that was just a story, Rakota. Statues can't really move. Then why is this one moving? How should I know? Get ready, everyone! Get that out straight away. Because it could build over time during this fight, so might be able to get it up again. Hey, what attacks are you doing? That's the question. Interrupted him when he was doing that. Did that destroy him? I wasn't even watching his health. I was expecting more. Phew, I'm glad that's over. I didn't expect that statue to come to life. Must have been powered by the kingdom of Eternia. 
It's like magic from the stories I've read. Do the people who live here use magic? Maybe. Or something like it, at least. Donna and her people wielded a mystical power. They call that power essence. Maybe that's what was powering the statue. Either way, there must have been a highly advanced civilization. At any rate, our path is clear now. Let's move on. Uh -huh -huh. Which way was the right way? This way. <laughs> is that sort of like, I got turned around, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, where the frame rate seems to drop like crazy. Don't know why. It's huge. Yeah, look at the size of that thing. At all, go see for yourself what's at the base of the tree. <laughs> There's that sort of look of like, why do I have to do everything? Why don't you do it? There's just something, something in a certain location. Like, if I look in certain directions, the frame rate's fine. There's something that's causing a frame rate dip. I'm not sure. What? Is it Donna herself causing a frame rate dip? Donna? I mean, you didn't have that on your arm before. Are you? Well, this is going to be weird when we go back in time now. Hmm. I saw this girl from the sky when the pterosaur captured me. And after I heard Adol's story, I put two and two together. Ah, I see. Did you just say... Donna? Is that her? Hey, Peril, what's going on? Castaway Village in trouble! Raid incoming! Repeat, raid incoming! A raid? Now? I think we should take her back to the village at once. I mean, yeah. Dogi and the others need to know about all this. About what we've seen up here, about Thanatos, and about her. That seems wise. Man, I don't know what's going on anymore. That, that is like a... Wait, how are you here? Just look at that frame rate, like, ooh. While traveling in a land populated by primordials, Adol discovered long-forgotten ruins. At the end of his journey, he found Dana, the girl who had been appearing in his dreams. The northern region of the island contained the remains of the ancient kingdom of Eternia. If Donna is supposed to be from the past, why do we find her sleeping in the ruins of Eternia? Adol ruminated over this mysterious turn of events as he hurried back to the village. Hmm. Oh yeah, we've got chapters, haven't we? I forgot that was a thing. This is all we can do. Is Donna gonna be okay? Yes, according to Licht, she's in stable health. 
I thought Donna was a person from the distant past. Maybe, maybe the Kingdom of Eternia existed more recently than we thought? Mm, I don't know about that. That wouldn't explain why the Kingdom has been reduced to ruins. That's a good point. She's got a symbol on her shoulder. A symbol. Yeah, and it's like, what significance is that? Huh. I didn't notice that before now. It sort of resembles an eye. It might be an aspect of a turning culture. Or possibly proof that she was the maiden? Yes, perhaps. Now, gentlemen, I think that's quite enough learning for today. Adol. You finished, Adol? You're on. How's the beast situation? Hmm, doesn't look like they'll be attacking anytime soon. Kinda wish they would, though, instead of keeping us in suspense like this. Oh well. Anyway, Dogi has something he wants to talk to you about. You guys should head to the village center. Chapter 5, Maiden of the Great Tree. It could be roots as well. Ah, oh, that symbol could mean so many things. The ruins of a lost civilization and the girl who's been appearing in your dreams. I couldn't have imagined you'd find all that on the north side of the island. If you hadn't brought her back, I would have said you guys were losing it or something. You don't seem all that surprised, though. Thanatos, right? Hang around Adol long enough and you'll build up a tolerance to his crazy stories. Or in my case, complete immunity. Huh. What color me intrigued? You'll have to regale me with tales of your adventures someday, Adol. Only if I can hear your stories too. <laughs> Is that so? I think you and me will get along just fine. Ahem, I apologize, but we really need to move on to more pressing concerns. It's obvious that a great mystery lies at the heart of this deserted island. Yeah, certainly looks that way. And though we've got, a sh got ship blueprints, we're not out of the woods just yet. We have to survive the beast raids long enough to see the damn thing built. It's also become obvious that the primordials are getting more aggressive, which makes it all the more crucial we learn as much as we can about this island. We can try to get some answers from Donna when she wakes up. I got a question. I want Donna to be part of our family. <laughs> she seems to have lost her memories, which means it's unclear whether she'll even help us. Any thoughts on that? I got nothing. I don't think that'll be an issue. I see, I hope you're right. Well, in Adol's dreams at least, she seemed eager to help out. Either way, we can't talk to her until she wakes up. The bell tolls. Damn it, we got a raid incoming. Adol, let's focus our attention on the enemies at our gates. Primordial Stampede. A horde of Primordials is approaching. Together, we'll drive them back. Please, everyone. Yes. Yes. Yes, we will. All right. You can see how much more fortifications I've got going on here now. It's lovely. All right, bring it on. Straight away with that. Now oh, these little guys. Yeah. In case you're wondering why I'm trying to find more effective ways of like running and stuff like that and like trying to speed stuff up is for raids like, if, it, if this is quicker like doing this jumping if I get used to that I can do stuff much better more effectively it's like my instinct is very much like get to this get bang like that oh that didn't work on you guys die die you stupid Dinosaur thing. It's not anticipating this level of attack. I mean, I assume he's already dead. He's probably already dead. It's 
There's a little guy left. A little guy left. Look at the little guy. Aww. Just spamming stuff out. Right? Works. Everything's okay. Got some good points there. I'm happy with that. Shoe bill last. You're not pulling your way, are you? I expect Sylvia to have done better than Euron, to be honest. Although she's got to get acclimatized, doesn't she, to where we are, I guess. So I expect her to be top of wave two. What a nice tail Everyone, take care. Get away. Leave it to me. Let your fighting spirit burn. Hold on a second. Hello. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, right there. Let's go. Let's go. Waiting for the thingy. Well, I should get better at it. Okay, we've got over here. And these guys usually drop blue feathers, which is very, very good for getting some stuff sorted for the fortifications. Hopefully they drop some more. Some to have dropped anything. Okay, fair enough. Go! Oh. You step right into my stuff there. Squad, even. Still got everything going on, that's cool. Hmm, only got the extra skill rate. What? Did I just run into it and it did it? Thank you for the support. Def. Oh dear, oh dear. Of Expected better from her. Wow, that's Battle good. Report. Battle report. Battle report. Squad going Whoop, smooth. Fade out. Squad going smooth. What's happening? This is pretty tough. We knew the primordials were starting to become more active, but now they seem much more aggressive than usual. Uh, more primordials. Is it because we have Donna? They'll overwhelm us. Aha. Donna joined the party. Arrange and equip your party. 